Hello friends, today we are going to perform an experiment to determine the time constant using charging and discharging of a capacitor. This is a very simple experiment. Just you have the circuit, you observe the readings and plot them and some basic calculations and this experiment is done. To perform this experiment, we need a breadboard. Along with this, we need a power supply, a DC voltmeter, some components like a resistance and a capacitor and some connecting wires. And here is our circuit. Now, in the first step, we connect our power supply to the breadboard's two horizontal line on the top. In the circuit, you can see that the battery and the connected wires, they have been highlighted. Before moving further in this experiment, I must tell you that choose the value of capacitance and resistance wisely such that that the product of R and C should be a reasonable value. It should not be that small like 2, 4, 5 seconds or and it should not be that high like 400, 500 seconds. In both cases, you will face trouble while observing its readings. So this is a good combination and you can choose one like this or close to this. So I am choosing 100 kilo ohm resistance and 220 micro ohm capacitor. Also check what is written on your capacitor. So with 220 microfarad you can see here it is written 25 volt. So 25 volt is the maximum voltage which this capacitor can bear. So don't apply any voltage higher than this in any part of the experiment. Just take care of that. You need to take care of one more thing here. There could be some charge on this capacitor. So just take some conducting wire and short the legs of this capacitor. You can do this for this small capacitor, but don't do this for a big capacitor because uh, in that case you may see some sparks. Just insert the legs of this capacitor in the breadboard so we can see two vertical lines. They have been highlighted with mild green color in this and also in the diagram you can see that this capacitor has been highlighted. Now in the next step we are going to connect this resistor in series with this capacitor. As we know that vertically these lines are connected so we have placed one end of the resistor in the same vertical line in which we have already inserted the positive leg of the capacitor. Generally we read in theory that capacitors don't have polarity but one which we are using here this capacitor has a polarity. So we are going to connect the positive of the battery to the positive of the capacitor. But we want to charge this capacitor through a resistance. So now we can connect this wire from the horizontal line in which we have already provided 10 volt using regulated power supply. From that we have connected one side of the resistor. Again we can match this with the circuit diagram. Just the time when we complete this loop this capacitor will start charging so we need to take readings from that point only so before that we are going to connect a dc voltmeter across this capacitor now take a stopwatch be ready with that and finally connect the negative leg of the capacitor with the negative of the battery so just the time you complete this circuit, this capacitor will start charging and you can observe the voltage developed across this capacitor in this DC voltmeter. Now make the first table. In this table, you are going to note down the voltage developed reading along with the time. So just take note of that and that's it. So voltage will reach a maximum value if you have applied 10 volts so close to 10 volt this voltage will stop increasing at that point so you have finished 
one part of this experiment in which you are charging the capacitor now you can start the second part of this experiment in which we are discharging this capacitor to discharge this capacitor first we disconnect the battery so we removed this positive and negative wires now we will connect the negative of our capacitor with the other part of the resistor the negative charges from one part of the capacitor are moving to the other plate but in between we have this resistance you can also observe this in the circuit the highlighted part only is now on the breadboard again just we connect the wire so this capacitor started discharging and we are going to observe this in the table 2 now further experiment is also quite easy just take time on the x axis and voltage on the y axis and plot this curve by definition the rc time constant is the time in which 63.2% of the charging is done it means if you have applied 10 volt potential difference across your capacitor so 6.32 volt potential difference will be developed in one rc time so just we pick this point 6.32 volt and corresponding to that voltage we observe the time so this is close to 22 second which we have taken in our example in the same way we are going to plot capacitor discharging curve by definition rc is a time in which 63.21 percent of discharging is done we can imagine that out of 10 only 3.68 volt will be remaining find the time corresponding to that as well this is your time constant observed from charging and discharging curves now as a final calculation we know that theoretical time constant is 100 kilo ohm into 220 microfarad is equal to 22 seconds but experimentally we calculated two values of uh, time constants while charging and discharging so just take a mean of them in this way we have calculated theoretical and experimental values and to find the error in this observation you can use this formula if you want to know more about this phenomena you can watch our viva voice video specially dedicated to charging and discharging experiment i hope you like this video if you like this please leave your comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care. Have a very good day.